keeps leaving the stuff on my desk. Very odd. Welcome to Monday, everybody. Happy Monday. Yes, it was a great weekend. Warm weekend, but that's okay. That's just what happens this time of year, but it is almost September, which means we'll slowly start to cool down towards the end of the month. Anyway, let's get into some cool headlines. It didn't really fly away like it was supposed to. Whatever. First headline is... Harpoon Brewery is releasing a releasing three Dunkin' Donuts inspired beers. That donuts, good. Donuts with coffee, great. Donuts with beer, I wouldn't do that. Beer that tastes like donuts is even worse. I don't know why we had to do this. People are just weird, man. Weird. Moving right along, Charlize Theron. Immortal Warrior will fight again in sequel to Netflix's The Old Guard. This is actually a pretty good movie. It's still on Netflix. You can check it out there. Uh, yep, it's kind of a superhero-esque type movie, but kind of anti-hero, non-hero heroes. Uh, pretty cool. I think this is one of those movies where the first one gets a little bit of traction, but the second one actually does really good. I think that's the way this is gonna go. Hopefully that's the way it goes. Last one for the Monday morning. The good and the not so good from the final days of football training camp. Yeah, that's the headline. Anyway, the uh, good and not so good. Well, the good is that training camp is almost over, or as we watch this, it is over. The not so good is that we still have to wait a week until the season actually officially starts. That's the part that's not so good. Let's go, we wanna play and watch some football. All right, everybody, it is Monday. It is gonna be a great week. It's always a great week because we always have cool, fun stuff going on. I hope you guys all watched the Insta Live Insta Trivia on Friday because we do it live now. It was live before, but live virtually. And now, now it's live, live with people in the audience. And then it's also live virtually. It's very confusing but you should just check it out. Don't have an Instagram account? Go create one. Real easy to do. And if you have a Facebook account, I think it's even easier. You can use like the same blah, blah, blah. You can figure it out. Anyway, that's Insta Live Insta Trivia. Last Friday, it was awesome. This Friday, it'll be awesome again. So what is our theme this week? Our theme this week is the roller coaster of life. What does that mean? Well, roller coasters go up and down and up and down and twist around and get a little crazy and speeds up and slows down. Kind of like life does from time to time. You got the really high highs that are great and fun and sometimes we have some low lows that aren't so fun, but ultimately we end up going back up and back down and that's just kind of what happens in life. It ebbs and flows as we move through things, as we push through things, as we embrace our fears, as we go through change. Change is sometimes a low, and then after we're comfortable with the change, we're on the high, right? So we're gonna talk about different ways that the roller coaster of life affects us. A lot of times that does deal with change, you know, coming back in the building, doing things different, the Insta Live Insta Trivia. Is it on the high high or is it on the low low? I don't know, I'm going with the high high. So like I said, we'll be talking about that all week long through our Zooms, through the lives, and it's a good way to just encourage each other because some of us, we're on our highs when our friends are on our lows, and hey, we can help each other out sometimes, especially if we're on the high, we can help the people on the low. All right, let's move right along into our National Day Of. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. Uh, nah, mm, that's okay. It's Monday. Just Monday, just Tuesday, just Monday. But it's the last Monday of August. It is August the 30th, right? August 30th, yeah, because tomorrow's 31st, August 30th. I can still count. And it's Monday, and today's national day is, I was gonna go outside and do it, but it's too stinking hot. But it's National Toasted Marshmallow Day. Mmm, you know how I love a toasted marshmallow. I used to do them on the Instagram Live with my little, just my little pot right there, and I 
make toasted marshmallows. Mmm. I like to get them nice and crispy and black on the outside. And then you pull that part off and you eat it. And then you toast it again. And then you do it again until all this left is this little piece of marshmallow that's gooey and mmm. Yum. I love a good toasted marshmallow. I love a slightly toasted marshmallow on hot chocolate. Ooh, that's really good too. I don't like it black because then it, it's bitter then against the chocolate, but a burnt marshmallow, mmm, yummy. I know, it's preference, right? And it's my preference to burn them, singe them to death, yum. <laughs> I'm sure everybody likes theirs different and has a different preference on how they do their toasted marshmallow. So maybe get a little bonfire going in the backyard tonight if it's not too hot or if you have a gas stove, just stick it over the flame. But anywho, get yourself a toasted marshmallow tonight or today or somehow on National Toasted Marshmallow Day. Oh yeah. <laughs> Toaster to the marshmallows, yeah. This is the best time of year, you know. It's super hot outside, but the nights are like coolish, warm, you know. And you have a little fire outside, and you get the marshmallow -y, and then you put it on a stick, and then you put it in the fire, and then it gets on fire and flame everywhere, and then you freak out and you rub it in the ground, and then you run around, ah, oh, fire! Oh, oh. And then I. You try to blow it out and then I got that, uh, well, it's not toasted anymore. It's pretty much burnt. Burnt marshmallow. That's what Babo get. Yeah. So Babo say, uh, hey, how do this, uh, you know, how do I get, how do you get to the toasted part? Because Babo just end up with burnt marshmallow. Hey, girl man say, hey, Babo, tell you what, bro. I do you a good one. I do you a solid favor here. I uh, give me the marshmallow, give me the sticky, and uh, the, I cook it for you. And uh, man, Carl, man, suck at cooking, but he toasts a pretty mean marshmallow. Oh, yeah. And then you put the, the you make the, the I cannot say it right. Hmm. The skmore, the skm, skmo, skm. Smear, smoble, sh whatever. You take out the grammar cracker, and then you take out the chocolate, and then you take a toasty marshmallow, and you <laughs> make a sandwich. Carl, man, not too bad job. He toasts up marshmallow. He's so particular, he never burned the marshmallow. Bobo, get a little, hey, how's it going? I get the marshmallow in the fire and have a conversation over here. <laughs> oh, yeah, play the guitar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah marshmallow on fire. <laughs> well, you know, girl, man, take care of that for me. So, yeah, but, uh, I guess I uh, talk uh, too much here about the story, but uh, it is uh, Toasted Marshmallow Day. Here we go. Toast the marshmallow, toast the marshmallow, toast the marshmallow. I know it's only a Tuesday day, but uh, you know, never too early to start roasting the marshmallows. <laughs> Toasted marshmallows, it's a little warm outside for me for toasted marshmallows, even if you had an outdoor fire, it's just too warm. Toasted marshmallows for me, or s'mores, things like that, more for like when it's cool outside, camping, but nonetheless, and marshmallows, I don't really eat them anymore anyway. In hot chocolate, they're good. Okay, let's go back in the bearded past with Zach. Hey, hey everybody, it's Monday, August 30th. How you guys all doing today? Uh, hope your weekend was good. It was a little hotter this weekend, but you know, hey, it's going to start cooling down. Weather's going to be nice. You can get that cool breeze kicking in through the windows soon. And for those of you who do like football, I know that's just, ah, I associate all that weather and climate, that not climate, but that change in climate, man, to, oh, just football season. Got to love it. Love it, love it, love it. But 
We're not here to talk about the weather. We're here, 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 here in the pen with, with Zach. With Zach. Zach. So, so today I'm going to talk about the Civil War, actually. I, last week, there wasn't a lot in Civil War history, but this week, looks like we're off to a start. So the Battle for Richmond in 1862. So why the Battle for Richmond? Well, the Battle for Richmond, Richmond was the capital of the Confederacy. The Union, early on in the war, thought, hey, we take the capital, the war ends. Well, it was a foolish plan, it was foolish idea and foolish planning, and that did change throughout the war. They came up with other plans where they decided maybe we should attack the army and destroy the army that we're fighting, because really cities mean nothing. So, in this particular day, Richmond was saved. They were saved by the uh, Confederate General Edmund Kirby Smith. He routed the Union forces under William Bull Nelson and uh, obviously held on to Richmond that day in 1862. They continued to hold on to Richmond until 1860, late 1864, early 1865, when it was finally taken over by Ulysses S. Grant on his way to having General Lee surrender at Appomattox Courthouse. So on this day, like I said, Edmund Kirby Smith, led army by the Confederacy beats off the Union at the Battle of Richmond. All right, guys. Take care. I'll catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye now. Very good. And there you have it. That is it for Monday's morning routine, everybody. Have a great week. We have 1 o'clock Facebook Live Monday Positivity. I'm sure it'll be good. Who knows who will be there? Last Monday was Sea Dog. Who knows we'll be there today, but you got to tune in to find out. All right, guys, forward morning routine for Monday. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.